Hi! In this tutorial we will cover the installation of Errant World and its asset libraries. Assuming that you signed up for the trial or purchased the plugins, you should have received some emails from us. If you don't see them in your main inbox, make sure to check your spam folder. In the emails you will have the license key and the download link. Let's click the download link. It opens a license page that lists different versions of the plugin and their asset libraries. Let's do that for all three plugins. OK. First, let's download the Errant Landscape plugin. I'm using Unreal Engine 5.4, so I'm selecting the latest Errant Landscape for this engine version without the source code. Let's click Download. Now, Errant Biomes for Unreal Engine 5.4 and Errant Paths. We can also download the Errant Instance Interaction plugin listed on the license page for Errant Biomes and Errant Paths. And we can download the optional asset libraries. For Errant Landscape, we have the Stamp Library. We can also have an example landscape material. For Errant Biomes, we don't have an asset library yet, but we do have one for Errant Paths. Select the latest asset library version. Let's wait for the downloads to complete. OK. Now that we have the plugins downloaded, we can install them either in the engine or in the project. You would install them in the engine usually if you're a solo developer working on multiple projects or when your project is Blueprint only or if you don't have access to the plugin source code. And you would place them in the project if you're working in a team and want to share the plugins, especially if you're using version control such as Git or Perforce or you compile your project from code and you have access to the plugin source code. So first, let's install the plugins in the engine. I'm using Unreal Engine 5.4. I can locate the engine folder by going to Epic Games Launcher and creating a shortcut for that engine version. Uh, then on the shortcut I can press Open File Location and navigate to the engine folder, then Plugins. Now we need to look for the Marketplace folder. If the Marketplace folder is missing, we need to add it. This is crucial to make precompiled plugins package correctly with the game. And now we need to copy the plugins to that folder and extract them. Make sure to only copy the plugins and not the asset libraries. And we extract the archives. It's important to remove that last part of the path as Windows adds an extra folder with the archive name that we don't want. Afterwards, we can remove the archives. When you enter a plugin folder, you should see a .uplugin file inside. Now let's see how to install the plugins in the project. 
we select the plugins, copy them, and we go to the project folder. Locate the plugins folder, and if it's not there, we need to add it. Then we paste the plugins here. And we extract the archives. Again, make sure to remove the last part of the path. Afterwards, we can remove the archives. Finally, let's install the asset libraries that come with the plugins. We select these three files and copy them. We go to the project, to the content folder, and then we add a new folder and name it Errant Worlds, without a space in between. We paste the files here and we start extracting. Again, make sure to remove that last part of the path. And let's remove those. Let's check if they are extracted correctly. If we enter the stamp library, we should see a list of folders with stamp names. And if we enter any of them, we should see the blueprint U asset in there. In the basic landscape material, we should have the material asset prefixed with M underscore. And in the Paths asset library, we should see EPD assets. OK, now we can start the project. You should see that there are new plugins available. You could click this button or you could go to Edit, Plugins, and now select Errant Photon. Make sure the plugins are enabled there. If you can't see the plugin content, make sure you have the Show Plugin Content option enabled in the Content Browser settings. Uh, let's add these plugin folders to favorites for easier access. As well as the asset libraries. OK, now we can test if the libraries are working correctly. When we open the material, we should see the preview, like this one here. When we enter the stamp library and we open a blueprint, it should open without errors. And if we go to the paths library and we open any of the assets, we should see their properties. Now, if we look at the viewport, we should see new editor modes added. Errant Biomes, Errant Landscape, and Errant Paths.
and instance interaction doesn't have its own editor mode, so it's fine that it's not displayed here. When we enter any of the modes, we'll be asked for a license key. So first, let's copy the license key for Errant Biomes, paste it here, click the button, and it works. Now for Errant Landscape, and for earned paths. Okay, the plugins are now ready to work. Note that the license seat is assigned to a machine when you enter a plugins editor mode. For larger teams, it might make sense to enable a special option that prevents accidental assignment of a seat. Go to Editor Preferences, go to each of the plugin's settings, and you can switch it to With Confirmation. Now we need to restart the editor. And if we now enter a plugin mode, we see this message and we need to press a button to be able to use the plugin and acquire a seat. For more information on the installation, make sure to check our installation guide. Here you'll have even more information as well as troubleshooting steps in case something goes wrong. Larger teams might also be interested in alternative options of setting the license key, such as using a text file or using environment variables. I also recommend reading about the asset libraries. Uh, this one for basic landscape material. This one for stamp library. and this one for Paths Asset Library. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.